To wrap up uh, this uh, particular broadcast from Uppington covering the official opening of the DAC, Dr. Harry Sergi Hospital. President Jacob Zuma will be joining us a little bit later to do the honours and cutting the red ribbon and uh, making sure that all the facilities and all systems go and everything runs full speed ahead. But let's go back a couple of years now to the beginning, the construction phase of this particular hospital. Before we go, we must speak to someone from Public Works to uh, just discuss the construction phase phase of this particular hospital. We're joined by the local MEC now uh, for Public Works in the province, Mr. David Roy. A very good morning to you, sir. Thanks again for your time. No, thanks very much, Ayanda. I must say we are all proud of the hospital, but must also acknowledge that we have started this hospital sometime in 2008. It was just a year before my appointment. Now, obviously, 12 months before you start the hospital, there will be earthworks and those things to start the actual hospital. I must say, as much as I have overrun a little bit in terms of time, this is one of the hospitals we have tried to fix within budget. And I must say, I'm happy so far. I'm glad you mentioned the B word, that budget. Uh, it's cost one billion rand. Now, from the taxpayer, uh, we'd want to know, did it suit or was it worth that price tag? I I'm sure, Ayanna, because if you understand the vastness of the province of the Northern Cape, the value might be not in the money, but what the people will get out of it. Because from Namakwa, which is the furthest region on the west coast, to Kimberley, it's about 980 kilometers. Now, to take a patient from there by ambulance is, is, is a serious problem. Therefore, this hospital, in terms of its value, to bring people from the western side and closer areas and not take them so far to Kimberley, I'm very sure it's worth it. Now, you just mentioned that uh, this uh, project was introduced when you just started uh, your, your term. So it's, it's like a little bit of your baby, if I can say that. You've, you've overseen the whole project. Are you happy with the specifications? Have they been met? Look, so far, in any building, circumstances sometimes determine, especially in, in the health sector, because there's laws that change which force you to do certain changes. But really, yeah, I'm sure it was very minimal. And I've been very happy as far as I've gone, yes. All right. Now, I want to speak to you about the various contractors. We spoke to the project manager a little bit earlier. He said it was a concerted effort from a number of players with a regard to that. Whenever you mention tenders, it's always red flags there. They've become uh, very notorious. But perhaps speak to us about the tender processes and how you were able to select the various contractors who are responsible for what we see today. As I have said to you earlier on that when I came in, the process was already been concluded in terms of the tender process. But I must say, this is one of the projects which I didn't pick up any serious problems in terms of the process itself and where we don't have consistent problems of construction. And I've been very happy that I believe this is one of the projects that we can use as an example to other projects in the province that let's have the processes correct, let's have contractors which have the capacity to deliver such big infrastructure. And I think as far as I am concerned, there was nothing here that created any problem for me. In fact, here we have also got a woman at a point who were constructing here. We're using this platform to also create a, a woman contractor. As much as there were a little bit of problems around it, we will always have problems when you start something new. Let's talk now about the, the ripple effect of what this hospital will bring. I know it will uplift the status of the area. There's a lot of economic boom in the Northern Cape that we're experiencing at the moment, tourism and various other industries. So we want to know whether or not infrastructure development will rise to the occasion and also develop. What are you working on? Obviously, infrastructure, if you want to build economy and you don't have infrastructure, that is one of the serious problems you will have. What we are planning from where I'm standing in public works, we are continuing to build hospitals, we continue to build clinics around the province, we continue to build schools, but one of the things we really are fighting for in the other arm of my responsibility is to build roads, because those are the things that brings the material here, that make sure that development is taking place, and in, in fact making sure that economy is coming to the area. And those are the plans we have already outlined in building new roads, continuing with the infrastructure of clinics, hospitals, and so on. Thank you so much uh, for your time. Public Works MEC, Mr. David Roy, uh, just giving us uh, some detail with regards to the construction of this particular project and also future projects. Uh, roads, key to that development. Well, let's leave it there for now, Leanne. It's back to you in studio. All right. Uh, thank you so very, very much, Ayanda. And